I just want you to know right now that in the eyes of the woke, in the eyes of the far left, you will never be good enough. I'm not like everybody else. What's up guys, John Claymore here. Now we are about to dig into this, uh, well let's just say react to this uh, little thing that the Canadian Broadcasting Company wanted to uh, post the other day, which by the way was a sit down between a bunch of suburban white women with a few woke African American women. Of course, there's really only one to actually think of that you might actually notice. But of course, there is another woman claiming to be of color in this video. Now, guys, the reason why I want to respond to this is I want to show you that, uh, especially to you suburban ladies, uh, you will never, ever, ever be good enough in the eyes of the woke. Now, guys, the reason why I'm saying this is because liberals have this uh, tendency to try to hold conservatives or hold moderates to extremely ridiculous standards. It's one of the reasons why I think debating these people are just insane to even do so, because guess what? They're going to interrupt. They're going to add hominin. They don't have strong arguments. So the best thing they can actually do is just insult the literal hell out of you, as you're about to see here in a second. Now, guys, before we actually take a look at this, before I hop behind the computer and actually show you this, make sure you guys go and hit that like button. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. I want to hear what you guys think. Also, if you've not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And, of course, due to the recent strike, I'm having to post a little bit more to try to get back in the algorithm. Now, with that right there being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. It's a moments video. Of course, we're probably going to watch the full thing. But, of course, after a few minutes, you're going to kind of sort of get an idea of what it is like to be around a bunch of woke people and why it is what I said at the beginning of the video about you not being able to please them or satisfy them is, in fact, a very real thing. Also, as I've always said, you will never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, be good enough in the eyes of the left. So stop trying to do so. And of course, suburban white women are about to find this out firsthand. Act of white women, not a damn thing. Nothing. I expect nothing of you because you have never given me anything. I can't trust you, okay? I am a well, liberal white woman. Well, white women did, for the most part, give you the right to vote, so there is that. And, of course, you guys like to harp on that all the time, so, of course, like I said, there is that. We are absolutely the most dangerous women out there. We are... Yeah, because you're the dumbest. ...the most dangerous women that exist because we want to think that we are better. White women have abused us our whole lives. Why do we have to hold your hand? Can't we just tell you, hey, you guys have hurt us. This is what you've done. Now make it right. I First of all, let me run that back just a quick second. I don't think anybody has actually abused either of these. Not here anyways. And, and I'll even explain why. Look at the way this woman is dressed, okay? She's in a very, very nice home. She's obviously wearing a very, very, let's just say it's a pretty nice, uh, I, I, let's just put this way here. I don't think she bought that shirt. I don't think she bought that blouse from Walmart, okay? So, miss me with that crap there. Also, something else, too. Let me go ahead and run it back a little bit more. The, let's see. My bad, guys. Hold your hand. Can't we just... This lady over here on the left, she doesn't look to me like she's... Have to hold... I wouldn't say she's not well off. I'd say she's obviously in a better position than she makes herself out to be. You see, this is a game. This is a trick that people play on others, especially those who like to race bait and race push. This is what they do. You need to take a second and actually look at things. Okay, look at this woman's watch. Now, it's possible that she may have gotten more well off as she got older, but still at the same time, though, she's kind of complaining about her past. Why don't you do us all a favor and move on? This is the biggest problem I've got with wokeness. It's also something else, too, that I have a problem with on the left in general, especially with cancel culture. You see, you go through life, you make mistakes, and, of course, you eventually redeem yourself. Well, the left does not believe in that. I mean, the same people who also sit there and say that these right here are your Christianity principles, but at the same time, they do not understand there's this, also this thing called forgiveness. You forgive those who trespass against you, and then you move on. Let's go ahead and kind of bring this back up a little bit. That I know, friends, lawyers, everybody, and they'll say, well, Regina, you know, there are some good white people. And I'll go, well, what have the good white people been doing for the last 450 years? Well, after Jim Crow and stuff, they started allowing you to work jobs and stuff. And, of course, ever since then, you've kind of gotten a little bit better off. I mean, guys, look at that blanket right there. 
What have you been doing? Obviously, it's not enough because nothing has changed. So, I And quite frankly, you should not pay these people any mind. What you should simply do is just simply say, okay, you've got a good life, and I don't want to hear you bitch and complain and move the hell on. That's really truly what this is. It's just a ploy for attention, guys. I'm a show of hands of everyone at this table who is racist. So I saw a couple people surprised that I raised my hand. When I said that I was racist, I am racist against black people. It sounds like you're racist against white people too there, hon. Okay, look, this right here is yet another trick, another guilt trip that people like to lay on others. The idea is to show no guilt. Look at them, look at their situation, and say, look to them, and actually say it flat out. You look like you're doing pretty good. Stop bitching, whining, and complaining. So it's, it's institutional. Indians are institutionally racist against black people. I don't see color. I don't see. So how she said, I'm, I'm blinded to color. Like, it doesn't phase me at all. Y'all, when we bleed, we bleed red. I'm just going to drop the bomb here. And by the way, I don't know if you guys caught her face earlier. She just, like I said, these people are naturally either A, they're already racist, or B, they're pretending to be racist to get quote unquote white guilt. That's white supremacy. Hold on a second. Color blindness is white supremacy. Let's watch that again. Color blindness is white supremacy. Do not teach your kids to be colorblind. Well, I guess I'm the biggest white supremacist in the world then because I'm pretty well colorblind when talking to all the, uh, the black neighbors I have in my neighborhood. Uh, these people right here are absolute loons. It's kind of like I was telling you before. There's nothing you will be able to do to satisfy the wokes or the people that are in the woke circle. However, and we're going to let this run on a little bit longer uh, because I want you to see if you can kind of understand that one of the reasons why they're doing this is because they know that other white women, especially suburban white women, are one of the most agreeable actual factions of people out there. They are super agreeable and they have all kinds of reasons for being agreeable, but I'm pretty sure you guys understand that this is what they do. They prey on those who are already agreeable. And as you guys can see, and I've already pointed this out, look at the way she's dressed, look at the way she's dressed. These people are obviously much, much more well off than what they are saying or leading you on to believe. This is obviously kind of sort of a plant to kind of make these people look, let's just say, racist, talking about the white women. Do not talk about colorblindness. Don't say that, that I don't see the color of your skin and we cut ourselves open. It's bleeding red. If you're going to cry. Do you bleed black? I mean, do you bleed green? Obviously, you bleed red. Leave the table and go into the living room there. That's right there. When a white woman starts crying, what happens? All the Everybody attention is being being back. When I was in Charleston, South Carolina last summer, I get into my lift and the guy turned around and looked at me and he said, lady, he goes, I hate to have to say this to you, but if, if I get pulled over, you're just another black woman. And uh, he's black. And he said, put your hands up. Do as they say. Do not make any trouble. He actually told you that. Yeah, of course. Okay, everybody knows that this fair is a bunch of crap. But then again, at the same time, that it would not have told, it would not surprise me if the officer did say, ma'am, just put your hands up and do what the hell I tell you to do. Because guess what? Most cops just want you to comply. I highly doubt he said you're obviously another you know, black woman when it doesn't look like you're black. Also, something else, too. Didn't she say earlier that she was Indian? God. Of course. It, to that's the why he gonna, lives. And that's so, his reality. But that's, that's insane. But that, that's his reality. That's his reality, but he's also black. I mean, so, so. So now you got uh, black officers, racist against other, uh, against other blacks. Come on, dude. Good. She's worried that her kids are going to die. What is it? I cannot remember a time that I have not woken up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. I want to ask also to stop acting. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. But there's no way in hell she's waking up in a cold sweat. I'm sorry. And here's what's funny. Let's, 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 let's run this back a couple of seconds. I want you to look at what she's wearing when she said that. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention. Watch. I remember a time that I have not woken up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. When I Look at this. Look at this. Look at look, this. Look. Let's, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. I'm, but I have not woken up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Look at this. Scarf. 
that scarf is at least, I would say, close to 100 bucks. Look at the shirt. This right here is a bunch of bull crap. This right here is a complete plant. You cannot sit here and tell me that these people are not better off than what they already are. Also, check out her hair. Don't be surprised if five or six months from now, if this right here is not fixed with some type of surgery. This woman is lying, and I would also argue that the vast of the other lady is also lying to. This is just another attempt at trying to get white guilt out of a bunch of agreeable suburban white women. I want to ask also to stop acting shocked. So part of white feminism is, is acting so surprised when it we tell you. But it is. Why are you telling us not to act the way that we act if it is surprising? Because to me, that is surprising. White, that upholds white supremacy. Why are your feelings so hurt? But why are you? Because you go in her home and you insult the living hell out of her. That's the reason why her feelings are hurt. Feelings more important than the reality of the violence of our lives. You walk through the world with a different experience because you are a white woman. And proud of it. Uh, I want to go. <laughs> so I can't sit here? No. You got to go. Sorry, sis. I think I have a little bit of a problem with the we versus I. I think that... Personally, if I had been that lady, I probably would have said, I'll be glad to go. I don't want to sit here and sit through this charade anymore. But this is the last part we're going to watch is this exchange with this lady here. I want you to pay very close attention to her facial expressions, guys. There is the big perpetual we, right? We white women for sure. But I think there's also we African Americans and the we were slaves, right? And we, these things happen to us. That doesn't happen to everybody, right? I mean, and, and you, I, I understand. And I, I, am, I am here. It happened to all African Americans. Yeah. What I would have responded to her by saying was, I think it's time you guys get the hell over it. Look at your life. You're obviously doing pretty good. There were these white Irishmen who were enslaved. Also, we don't hear them complain about anything. And also, to go on top of that, not only is it the fact that white Irishmen did not complain, what about the fact, what about all those sir? what about all those serfs, what about all those slobs, who, by the way, were white? Also, something else, too, if you want to blame somebody for slavery, as I mentioned in my reparations video, maybe you should blame other black people, especially black people from Africa. Also, something else, too, let us not forget all the black slave masters out there. You William Henry Ellison, all the ones who were here in the South at the time. So do us a favor to stop blaming white people for all your problems. It didn't happen to you. Listen, oh <laughs> listen. One of the things that we know... Exactly. It did not happen to you. You see, this is like beating a dead horse. And as I've said on several occasions, this lady and the other lady, they are obviously dressed up nice for a reason. They are obviously a lot more well off than they lead on. It's like an enlightened class. And you even had a white liberal woman earlier, who we may come back to here in a second, the very, very fat one at the very, very beginning of the video, who also wanted to express the sentiment of guilt as well. Now, as agreeable as suburban white women are, there are a certain level who do dissent. You got to understand something. I was sort of raised by some of the same sort. As agreeable as they are, sometimes they just simply agree and walk the hell away, disagreeing with what was said, oftentimes to avoid an argument. And it's a certain portion that I actually, mostly, most part, ends up voting conservative policies. They don't tell anybody about it, but they ultimately do. You're probably beginning to see a bit of a fracture in that, but let's go ahead and finish this off, and then we're going to get to the flip side of the video. One of the Absolutely. things, let me just I, say. I have a lot of Native American Science. history, and I don't take Science. advantage of any of that. Science. Time out. Are you saying that black people, African Americans, descendants of slaves, are taking advantage of that? No. You just said that's you have... Not yes, that's exactly what they're doing. They're taking advantage of the law. They're taking advantage of the political system. Uh, they're obviously using it to uh, pump up the racist narrative. When in reality, they simply just don't want to move the hell on. As a matter of fact, there's probably a certain portion of African Americans, and I would argue probably 75%, that don't even think about this. It's the 25% that try to gin up the other 75. At these dinners, we see white women behaving badly. Look at this. Look at this. Once again, dress, earrings. Look at the hair. Look at this. Even the little cross side right here. Just, just, just pay attention, guys. I mean, these people are not some poor blacks. They are, they are very, very, very well off. Trust me on this. That bad behavior looks like denial of white supremacy, denial of racism, and even denial of slavery. This is nothing new. 
Why is it? Like I said, guys, there is nothing you can do. There is absolutely nothing that you can do that will ever be good enough in the eyes of these people. That being called a racist makes you so upset. It doesn't make me upset anymore. I believe that every white person is racist because of the system. You see, this right here is the agreeableness. You see, probably in the back of her mind, she's already decided that there's no way she can win. Trust me. This is a lady who's obviously in her mid to late 60s. She's already decided, look, there's no way we're going to be able to win this exchange. So just go ahead and agree with them so that way we can get this over with. And I had to learn about the system to get that. Do I love you less because you're a different color? Absolutely not. But do you realize? This right here is obviously the, uh, the more condescending tone to try to get out of the argument. You see, what they're doing is they're just simply being agreeable at this point in time because they want this entire exchange to end. They already know that there's no way out. This kind of goes into the agreeable nature. Okay, now you have a lot of conservative commentators talk about this. However, I think they get it wrong when they look at the agreeable nature. Sure, there are some that agree and go along, but there's also a lot of them that simply agree and walk the hell out. It's almost like it goes in one ear and out the other. Everything you're saying is taking away everything they just said. That is such okay, bitch, bitch. You, you right here need to shut the hell up because the only thing this fat ass and this pile of trash have done is talk the entire time. Now, guys, we're going to go ahead and close it down here, and we're going to go ahead and get to the end of the video where I'm going to go ahead and conclude. As I have said on multiple occasions, there is absolutely nothing you can do in these woke's eyes to actually satisfy them. Guys, this is where I have been deconstructing Karen. There will be more projects out like this in the future, especially as we go into more, uh, how do I say, more societal. And in conclusion, guys, as you can see, this right here is exactly what they play. You see, you will never be woke enough. You will never be good enough at all for these people. So it's best to not even entertain them and just be who you are. Think about something really quick. When you have these discussions with, say, liberals, and I'm talking about the online left people like Hassan, Piker, Vosh, and even Destiny to a certain degree because I kind of blame him for a good portion of this because he allowed a lot of these people on his platform. And, of course, the radicalization has occurred. We'll talk about that here in a second. But here is something else that you have to understand. They have already decided that you are a right-wing Nazi. So just go ahead and come on out and say, yeah, I'm, I'm a conservative. Don't let them say, oh, this right here sounds very, very right-wing. Go ahead and take it away from them. Go ahead and say, yeah, I'm a conservative. And quite frankly, I don't care. Those women would have been better suited to have simply fought back against the, uh, the bullcrap claims. I mean, hands up, don't shoot. Okay, that right there was actually a myth. It's not like they're killing uh, kids out there in the street who are adolescents for no reason. A lot of these people, according to the police reports, have actually done some pretty bad stuff. And uh, the actual, uh, let's just say that the uh, punishment that they got actually fit the crime. I'm not trying to say this to be an asshole. I'm just telling you the truth. Of course, we're also going to have some videos coming out tomorrow on the crime rate and some of the things that we have been seeing. And, of course, you will probably see that and then look back at this video and say, wow, he was 100% correct. But here's the thing, and this is the one I want to end on. A long time ago, the online left, how they kind of got the prominence was after Gamergate, they were doing Twitch streams, they were doing all kinds of stuff, and they were letting their political views out. I'm talking about people like Destiny, Vosh, Hassan, more and more and more of the bread tube types. They were letting their stuff out, and over time, they've gotten more and more radical. Now, someone like Destiny, I know somebody's going to come in here and say, well, why don't you date Destiny? Okay, I don't want to debate the fool who, quite frankly, made the left more radical than what it is. Also, something else, too, I'm not ready to do that because I'm not really and truly a debater. I'd probably fall flat on my ass. But the thing is, this right here. You can't bring back a radicalized section back to the center. You can't bring them back to a little bit more uh, less left-leaning perspective. You've already radicalized the hell out of them, so what the hell do you expect? Guys, John Claymore, if you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, sign up in the comments. I'm not like everybody.